this is what I call negative fortune telling. Uh, have you ever witnessed somebody at work doing negative fortune telling? Has anyone recently come up to you and said, oh, I know exactly how this is gonna go. <laughs> and it ain't gonna be pretty. There it is, negative fortune telling. Now, right, her or his brain is just trying to protect her or him, but it's when we get caught up, when we start taking that SFD too seriously, that is our source of struggle. That is our source of suffering. So it's very important to recognize when you get out your crystal ball. If you realize you're getting out your crystal ball and predicting a negative outcome, that gives you the opportunity, that awareness gives you the opportunity to put it down and write a BSD. And you know what the BSD for the future is? I don't know what's going to happen. It's all up for grabs. But that's a practice, right? That's a practice. Now, um, I started out doing stand-up comedy, you know, many years ago, and at first it was do going very well. I, um, you know, I performed at a lot of comedy clubs. I went on tour with my uh, one-woman comedy show. I toured to like very glamorous places such as um, Cornwall <laughs> and uh, Sarnia. <laughs> Don't want to brag, but I was a pretty big deal. <laughs> now, to make a long story short, a lot of fear and self-doubt led me to quitting stand-up comedy. And when I quit stand-up comedy, I got very interested in how the other half lived. I wanted to get a real job. So thanks to a lot of serendipity and a wee bit of nepotism, I landed a job working in a human resources office in the Ontario government. You gotta laugh. Yeah, so I went from stand-up comedy to sit-down comedy. Actually, as I was sitting there in that human resources office in the Ontario government, I started looking around at what was going on and I thought, you know, I shouldn't have left stand-up comedy. I've got so much more new material. And what's interesting is Michelle Demanuel was um, leading a major HR project for the Ontario Public Service when I was there. So we were hugging backstage as we were reunited. It's all come around full circle. Kind of cool, eh? Yeah, it was great to see her. I love her. I thought her speech this morning was beautiful. Anyway, so I tell you this because I remember so well all the negative fortune telling that would go on in the office. All the SFDs flying around. All the secondhand stress. Oh, like pretty much every Monday morning, one of our managers, one of our managers would scurry around the office <laughs> saying, this week is going to be insane. <laughs> We're like, well, Denise, thank you for your fine leadership. <laughs> right? It wasn't true, right? SFD, not true. What would have been great is if she just kind of, you know, walked around and went, hey, Wonder what's gonna happen this week, because that's at least the truth. Pretty much every Friday, one of my colleagues would be uh, sitting there at her desk all stressed out saying, I am never gonna get all this done by the end of the day. I'm gonna have to work all weekend. And I'm like, girl, it's only 9 a.m. Give yourself a shot, <laughs> right? Like, you just don't know how great you can be today. Challenge your limited thinking about your capacity. That's an SFD for sure. Pretty much every day, somebody would come up to me in the office and say, <clears throat> this meeting is gonna be a total waste of time. <laughs> now that one usually ended up to be true. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, come on, I spent five years in that office. I know, I know, I know. Again, and this is just awareness, right? This is practice. Our brains are predisposed for negativity. So we just have to be maybe a little bit more conscious. And when we get out that crystal ball, and then as we put it down, we write that better second draft and we see it for what it is. The truth, the truth, the truth of this future is it's unknown. It's unpredictable. It's still all up for grabs.